Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solo systems and today's one is called the Luminaris system from Red Car Racer so massive thank you to them for sending in the simulation. The, the image already looks pretty interesting, it's very bright, let's go ahead and uh, get it ready, so here it is, uh, subscribe, it should be there, so there yeah, it says Luminara system, but it's so bright, white text with a white star behind it, you can barely read that, <laughs> but there it is, so, let's see what we have got here, right, it's taken a while to load, it took a while to install as well, it took a while to download, so I don't know if it's just a large file size, or my internet's being weird, but, well it looks pretty big, it's huge! Oh my god. Okay, so. There's the star itself. It's very bright. There you go. I do apologize to anyone watching in the dark right now. The Luminaris system by RCR. Oh, Red Car Racer. Remember me from the CHXR system. And I also have every moon on the list. I'm mentally insane now. Oh my god, he's listed everything. It's a full bio. That star is bright. Right. Uh, let's take your time on the system. There's a lot of Easter eggs in a hidden system. Okay, we'll check that out for sure. Right. So, Luminaris is a fourth generation star and is brighter than our sun by 1115 uh, L. Even though it might be an O type star, it might outlast a lot of stars in the universe because of its young age and it has been made out of heavy materials. Okay. So, first up, we've got Infernos here. It's a gas giant. Um. A gas giant with twice the density due to an eight times the size. The reason for this is its orbit is so close to its parent star and that's making it puff up and glow. This evil red colour giving the planet its name. Ooh, it looks monstrous! There it is, it's huge! 400 degrees there, around that star. There you go. Nice. Next up, we have got Hellspira. A rocky world, two times the density of Earth, and it might look like Titan, but don't let them deceive you. This planet is legit hell. And you want to know another thing. You can see Infernos because they orbit close to each other. But you can't because the atmosphere is so thick of war favour and calm and dark side. So where's the other planet? Can you can we see it from here? Where are we? Trying to spoil him. I do not see it. Where is it? Labels. Oh uh, 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 no, you can. It is there. You gotta look carefully, but it is visible. There you go. There. Nice. Okay. Nice. Next up we have got Satan. You may remember this planet. It was in the video called You Guys Made This System in Two Weeks. Ah, okay. There it is. But the only difference is it's to its twin, its atmosphere isn't as yellow, but well, still kill you. Oh, yeah. So there it is. So that is the Satan planet. Oh, yeah. Next up, we have got Fernaxis over here. A planet 42 times the density of the moon and it's a desert planet. Its atmosphere is made out of the carbon dioxide, water vapour and nitrogen. And it's one of the youngest objects in the system. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Moving on to uh, Volca, Volca Nuris over here. A planet 25 times the density of the moon and it is volcanically active. And given the planet its name, the atmosphere is made out of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Given the planet its atmosphere colour. There it is. Very nice. Moving on to Blightor. This planet has one density of the Earth. This planet used to be like Earth, a peaceful world. And all two life forms on it decided to drill for oil, fossil fuels, and causing a runaway greenhouse effect. And when they screwed the planet so much, they tried to jump into Brockness, the moon, and did the same thing. Now the planet sits here, being reminded to everyone to stop using it or even limit the amount of fossil fuels. So they've over-harvested the planet and it has just ruined it. So there it is. A former habitable world, but it has been ruined. Just wrecked. They overworked it, did too much at once, and it has ruined it. So there it is. Interesting concept. Then there's the moon. So same problems done to this guy as well. They over-harvested it. Spoilt it. So there it is. I like the background colour in this. The red and signs looking good. Right, there you go. Next up we've got Gaia, which is the blue one. A planet of one and a half times the density of Earth and is an Earth-like planet and even has a moon formed in the same way as ours. They even colonise it, turn it into a mining depot. The life forms on this planet, having not killed their planet yet, are planning in a few years to launch the first solar satellites to get energy from its star. Excellent. There it is. So this world hasn't been spoiled by the uh, fossil fuel greenhouse effect. And there is the moon as well, quite distant from the parent. But there it is. Nice. Moving on to Terrace next up. Voyager 2's here as well. Look at that. It's ended up in here. 
There it is. Terrace is a planet of one times the density of the Earth and is an Earth like planet and even has a moon that wasn't formed in the same way as ours and even has a life forms. They have a couple of satellites in the system and they've even mastered wormhole technology. They even managed to transport one of the telescopes to the out system when they found something. Is that the Voyager 2 maybe? There it is. It has the moon as well. So very similar to the previous planet. These two are very similar, but the moon here is Hattable. Nice. Next up, we are heading to Orania over here. Orania. There it is. It looks good. I like it. It's a planet with one times the density of Earth and is an Earth like planet and even has two moons, but not the way they're formed in the same way as ours. And the moons of both have been colonized and both turned into mining depots. And what makes this planet very special is the magnetic field is ridiculously strong. Freaking strong. It can stop X class solar flares and even thing in 2012 oh yes looks cool nice design on it actually the planets come out really well actually maybe there's a bit of modeling with those clouds they did look very reflective but maybe they're just a star i'm not sure there we go there's the moons it's a very good looking earth i mean yeah i reckon that's i don't know those clouds look really good though that, that goes together really nicely uh then we have more over here the other moon there it is lovely right earth what's this earth Right. Now the satellite I mentioned, yeah, it comes in. So that's actually, so it's actually the Earth, or is it? Looks like Earth as we know it, or is it? Mister, oh, it's mysterious. Very cloud heavy though. It looks like Earth as we know it. Yep, yeah, same old Earth. Now the satellite I mentioned, yeah, it comes into play now. In the end days of our solar system, the satellite seen seen a system and a planet with life on it, and was orbiting a dying star. And next thing they happened, they saw Uranus crash into Saturn, so they immediately opened a space bridge to our system built one four times the size of Earth and pushed the Earth and the Moon into it. And the last thing they saw before they shut the space bridge is Neptune crashed into the Sun. But there's still the same Earth you can get. Still go to New York City, have cheese pizza, you can still go see the highness. So this is the Earth as we know it in the, from the far future that's been moved from the red giant Sun or before the Sun started to go crazy and they brought it here. Nice. And the Moon as well. They saved them both. So they've literally transferred the Earth and the Moon to a different place in space. Very cool. Very, very cool. Interesting concept. Very nice. Next up, we got this gas giant. Pra Praxis here. Gas giant with two times the density of Jupiter and has a pair of rings. And also a really strong magnetic field and also has an Earth-like moon. The moon is name is a Axum and is kept warm by tidal heat. There it is. Nice. A lot of, uh, very, lot of very hatable worlds in here. I like it. Looking good. I wonder how Voyager 2 got here then. How's that? That hasn't been explained. But I mean, it is there. Wormhole Mark 45. What is this? <gasps> what is that? I forgot this system's actually running as well. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. It's actually running. Let's pause it though. But it's actually a running sim. It's actually spinning. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Look at that. Very mysterious. Wormhole. So that's probably one of their um, ways of uh, ways of space travel. That's how they travel across. We've also got the TARDIS in here, guessing from Doctor Who. Yep, police box, very cool, good reference. Lovely. So next up we're heading to Auric's Or or Gas shine three times the density of Jupiter and five times the size as well and as a pair of rings. And it also has three moons. The first moon is Horizonus and is kept warm by tidal heating. The second moon is Trionix, a really small gas giant. And the third moon is Exora, which has been colonized and turned into a mining depot. Nice, let's check these guys out. Ooh, it's very slow. Ooh, lagged out there. Ooh, yes, yeah, pauses. So there it is. Very slowly moving. <laughs> There's uh, the Trionix one. That's the uh, gas giant moon. There's the other one. Let's, let's have a look at the gas giant moon. There it is. There you go. More of a gas dwarf design, actually. There you go. Lovely. So next up we've got Jovian. So there's a very heavy amount of giant gas giants in here. Oh, and we've got this one as well. Ooh, ah. Oh, yeah. So this one's two times the density of Jupiter, three times the size. The first moon is Skadi, has a big ocean underneath uh, the ice. The second moon is Chichion, and has a titan-like ocean, some methane, and some ice as well. Looks like one of my old planets, that one, actually. Nice. Uh, then we've got Skadi. 
That looks like my one of my um, wasp planets, I think it is. Um, and there's just one all the Titan Knight world. I like it. It looks good. There you go. So another planet with many times the density of Jupiter. This 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 whole system is just full of dominant gas giants. I'd love to see who comes out on top of this. Which one is the most powerful? There it is. Three times the density of Jupiter, one time size as well. It has four moons. The first moon being uh Volcurian, because it orbits so close to Juvian, it's on the edge of being ripped apart, causing it to be really volcanically active. So that's like Io in a way. The second moon is Snowhaven. Has a big ocean underneath the ice. The third moon. Okay, so that's like your Europa. Uh, the third one is this one. Which has been colonized and turned into a mining depot. And the fourth moon is Nebulus, also a big ocean underneath the ice. So the outer two are less similar to the Jupiter moons. There you go. Lovely. Next up, we're heading to Hellion over here. Galaxy scope, what's that? Not sure what that is. Can't really click on it. James Webb Telescope. Hey. 9 times the density of Jupiter and 1 times the size of the sun. 1 times the size of the sun. That's huge. That's a, that's got to be the dominant gas giant surely. <laughs> I think that's the biggest one so far. Uh size of the sun though. It has one moon. The moon is Sinara, which is here. Captured ice giant 15 times the density of Earth and 6 times the size. So even this gas giant's probably a decent <laughs> quite a decent size, but it's just orbiting that monster Hellion definitely. Next up we got Salibi over here. A gas giant with one times the density of Jupiter and six times the size of Earth as well has a pair of rings and has two moons. The first moon is Galidia, its Titan like moon of Nephane, which is this one. And the second moon is Isolide. It's covered in snow, but also been colonized and turned into a mining depot. Nice. Which is over here. Lovely. Next up, we got Ymir over here. Ice giant four times the density of Jupiter and has a pair of rings. It has four moons. The first moon is Winterla. Okay. Titan like oceans of methane. The second moon is Dusk. Dusk is over here. Dusk ice. And there's a big ocean underneath the ice. The third moon is Nixon. Has been colonized and turned into a mining depot. Okay. So we've seen a similar theme with a lot of these moons. You've got Titan. There's a lot of Titanite moons. There's a lot of mining depots. And then there's a lot of Earth like ones closer to the star. Uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely a set theme of the moons. Um, there you go. And the fourth moon is Mad Ma Mabors. Turn into a mining depot they just wanted iron. Blow the cross off and turn it into its own mini moon. Uh, so there you go. So they've blown off the grass and made this. Nice. There you go. Yeah. So we've got white... Wymere is that one, but then there's another one called Wymere. Is that the same description or? Interesting. It's got different names. Is there two called Wymere then, or? or? Is it meant to be this one? I'm assuming that the second Wymere description is this one. Four times Dempsey Jupiter has three moons, which it does. Yeah, okay, so that is this one. Uh, Shu has a big ocean underneath the ice. I like the colours on that gas giant. This one here, small bodies of water underneath the ice. Third moon. Colonize and turn into a mining depot. There you go. Yeah, I think mean, you just made an error with the yeah the yeah the name of that one. That's fine. There you go. Ooh, cool. We figured it out. Um, then we got Pyrosar over here. Getting to the outer reaches now. Ground dwarf, I'm guessing. With three planets. The first is Acryl, a planet with one times the density of Earth and is an Earth-like planet and kept warm by the Brown Dwarf. Nice. Bit of warmth. I can't wait till the next update where we can finally have proper heating from the Brown Dwarf and light and stuff. 44 degrees around this guy. Very nice. There it is. That next update's taking quite a while, isn't it? Um, but yeah, there it is. Can't wait for it, though. Hopefully it will be uh, bug-free. Much rather it take longer and come out in a way better state. Um, there it is. Ocean well, three times sensi the moon and is kept warm by the brown dwarf. Uh, and is the third planet. And the last one's been mining depot. A lot of mining depots. Very heavy resources in here. There it is. Next up, we've got Rhea. Is it the Rhea we know? No, it isn't. But there it is. 
It sits in the outer skirt of the system, similar to Titan as Methane Atmosphere and Oceans with some Nitrogen as well. It's kind of similar to that Rhea we saw the other day in the um, the dinosaur system, actually. <laughs> and then last we got uh, this one, Cryosilis, an ice giant six times density of the Earth and sits on the outer edge of this system. He means mass when he says density, doesn't he? Yeah, he, yeah, he does, yeah. Um, yeah, the density is... Yeah, yeah he means mass. Um, of the Earth and sits on the outer edge of the system. Thank you. What's your opinion on the system? And also, do you want me to change anything on future systems? Well, um, I don't know really. I mean, so we'll go ahead and close all that. Let's have a, have a look around because let's see if there's any more secrets in here. There's definitely something in the background there. Rip Suns. That's obviously the uh, Vortex Scope. I don't know what that is. I don't know if they have many meaning. Like the TARDIS had a meaning, for instance. So the Rip Suns. This is the red giant sun all the way over here that they brought Move the Earth from. So you can see Mars is still going on in here. Uranus and Saturn collided, didn't they, in this system? So you can see they've mixed together. Neptune is gone as well. Wormhole. So that's the teleport they use between the two... Well, I say teleport. The wormhole they use between the uh, the two systems that they brought the Earth through. Pretty cool. Jupiter. And Mars will see the last uh, of the inner planets in there. Not much else around the red giant sun. So, yeah, sitting on the edge of everything, aren't they? And then they'll see this system is... Uh, how, how far away is that from the red giant? I mean, it looks like it's fairly close by. Let's have a look. It's about one light year, 1.2 light years away. Okay, interesting. So this system has mysteriously appeared near the solar system. But there it is. Interesting. Quite liked it. I have to say, though, there's, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, it felt like some of the... If you want my honest opinion, it felt like some of the honest... I don't know, some of the descriptions were almost repeated. It was giant gas giant multiple times the size of Jupiter, etc. And it had a mining moon. It had this. It, was, it felt like a bit repetitive in some of them. Obviously, the customization was different, which is cool. That's probably the, uh, the feedback I'd give is it did feel a bit repetitive with the amount of gas giants. It felt like the idea was kind of used over and over again. But nonetheless, who was the dominant gas It must have been that sun size one, surely. Yeah, Helia yeah, yeah, that was the dominant gas giant, wasn't it? Yeah, it's pretty big. Nine Jupiter mass, size of the sun. It was, yeah, double the, double the mass of this one. Look at the, look at the differences in the masses. Like the, so this one has more mass, but this one's just way bigger. It's quite an interesting duo of objects in here with that, isn't there? There's the original Jupiter Saturn. Yeah, these things are huge, massive gas giants. I'd love to see how this system runs over a thousand years of simulated time, because I reckon it would sling everything out. Could be an interesting uh, birth to death concept actually is evolve this system, because my gosh, it'd be carnage. Do you guys want to see that? Do we evolve this system from birth to death? Because forget, we'll obviously remove the sun, but if we evolve this Luminaris star with all those gas giants, it'd be sure it'd be chaos. Let me know if you want to see that, everyone. That'd be quite interesting but yeah that was said and done again a massive thank you to the creator of this system red car racer for sending this in quite enjoyed that actually yeah let me know what you think down below on that and yeah that was said and done already let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well subscribe for more help some journey to 50,000 subscribers and yeah have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye